So today we're going to discuss uh, a way to play alternate uh, F. Sh this is an alternate F sharp. Um, this is a fingering that uh, people, I don't think educators teach saxophonists enough in the beginning. I think this is really important, and I want to share it with you. So let me just show you first. Let's just look. So right. So this is our left hand up here. One, two, three, and then we've got F the F key closed, and then 2 and 3 open for the lower stack. Okay, and then I want to show you this button that maybe you were wondering what this thing does on saxophone. Hopefully you can see that. It's right there. And what this does is when you play F, instead of going F to F sharp, see this kind of floppy action between these two uh, fingers? Well, you can just go F to F sharp right there. So this is really particularly great for um, for uh, chromaticism, you know, chromatic notes going up and down, um, or even maybe um, a trill. Hopefully you can see that there. I forgot to turn the horn around. There. So that's where that key lives, and then the, the button is right there. So then we we'll play that with our ring finger, just like that. So, I'll just play it for you. So that's like that. The, the one that you already know probably is like that, F sharp. So we're going to play it like that. All right, so the note that I was just playing, I'll just show it to you on the staff here. It was that one. If we added the octave key, it would sound up here, F sharp. So this is a great one to learn and to get comfortable with. Um, what else? So practice that, you know. Mess around with playing your, maybe I'll write a little thing to practice here. Um, so you could practice going from E to F to F sharp, you know, using this fingering to G and back down. F sharp. Hopefully you can see this F natural on the screen there. Um, that. Check it out. And thanks for watching. Bye.